So here is our neuron model. Whole entire region is the cell body. These pinkish or beigeish things here, okay, these are axon terminals axon terminals from the presynaptic neuron that is coming in and synapsing with our neuron model. And these axon terminals are full of neurotransmitter. One of these has been cut open. So this is the axon terminal. The axon terminal has synaptic vesicles filled with neurotransmitter. There's also a tiny space that exists between the axons and the dendrites, and that would be the synaptic cleft. Now, if I were to take this off, I can see the structures inside of the neuron. Here is the nucleus, the nucleus, the membrane of the nucleus, we could call the nuclear membrane or the nuclear envelope. And we see that we have nuclear pores here, which are these tiny indentations. Now, inside of the nucleus, I have the chromatin, which is the genetic material of our neuron, and I also have the nucleolus. The red structures that you see here, these are mitochondria. These are mitochondria. And I can get a much better view now of this axon terminal and the synaptic vesicles inside of that axon terminal that are filled with neurotransmitters. I have this gray structure here that has little bumps on it. The gray structure, so all of this, this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the little bumps that I have on the rough endoplasmic reticulum are the ribosomes. I have another gray structure that looks a lot like the other one. The only difference is this one does not have any bumps. This would be the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This is the Golgi body or the Golgi apparatus. And then I have these round structures, which are lysosomes, lysosomes. As we get towards the axon here, this is going to taper off. This initial segment here is the axon hillock. This is the structure that initiates the action potential. So this is the axon hillock. And this structure here, so from about here, and then we have some of it that's cut open here and here. So the structure is here. So this is axon. This is an axon that has been cut open. Okay, this is another portion of the axon and this structure would continue. Inside of the axon, in this portion that has been cut away, I can see I have little mitochondria that are in here, the mitochondria. And this portion here, these layers, this is the myelin sheath. This is the myelin sheath. Outer layer of the myelin sheath is the neurolemma, the neurolemma. And in this model, we can see that we have the cell bodies of the Schwann cells that are making up the structure of the myelin sheath. And I have the cell, the nucleus of the cell body of the Schwann cell. So this is the nucleus of the Schwann cell, the cell body of the Schwann cell, the cell bodies of the Schwann cells are going to be on the outer layer of the myelin sheath, which we call the neurolemma. And all of these layers are all layers of myelin sheath. Okay, and this is all made up um, using the structure of Schwann cells in the peripheral nervous system. And here between the myelin sheath, we have a gap between the myelin sheath called the node of Ron VA, the node of Ron VA. Okay, that's it on that one.